Welcome everyone. I am Adeshawa Josh and this is Africa Matters. We begin in the Central African Republic where victims will have to wait a little longer for justice after a special war crimes court is forced to adjourn on the first day of hearings. And we meet a local engineer in northern Nigeria who is finding innovative ways to power through the country's frequent fuel shortages. Nigeria is one of Africa's top crude oil producers, but it regularly faces fuel shortages. It's going through a terrible one right now that's led to long lines at petrol stations and power cuts. The country doesn't have enough refineries to process its own oil, so it depends on fuel imports. And if something goes wrong with those supplies, it causes major problems for residents. Adesua Egbo went to the northern city of Baiduguri to meet one engineer who may have a solution. Lawan Mohammed has been a bus driver for more than 10 years in Meduguri in northeastern Nigeria. But as the cost of fuel has gone up, his profits have dropped. He needs to fend for himself and his family, so he found a way to fix the problem. He now drives more affordable buses produced by local engineer Mustafa Gajibu. These electric cars have helped us solve so many problems, especially when it comes to buying fuel. Now we drive for about 120 kilometers every day on one full charge, and the charging doesn't last more than 35 minutes. Due to its low cost, we also ask passengers to pay less compared to other buses. Most passengers prefer to use our cars because it's cheap. Electric cars like these offer a cleaner alternative to vehicles run on petrol. They reduce carbon emissions and provide cheaper transportation, making Gajibo's project a much-needed innovation. Gajibo's workshop can convert vehicles that use petrol into electric cars, but it can also make its own eco-friendly cars from scratch. We came up with uh, first uh, design of uh, mass transit systems, like the buses, tricycles, and uh, other small vehicles which are mainly used in our streets. Tajibo has got encouragement from the government. Jelani Aliyu is the head of the council that promotes local car production. Because we all know that each time you uh, buy a vehicle from overseas, you are supporting jobs and uh, exporting opportunities out of Nigeria. So these vehicles